G'day Darren, it's Brad here, um, to give you a little bit of follow up on how we worked with that presentation we were preparing for. Felt a lot, a lot more confident in being able to stand there without notes and without having to refer to the screen all the time. So used a lot of the tools you mentioned as well, it's to engage with the audience, keep the eyes up. Thanks for that, I was really happy with the way it went and um, look forward to working with you in the future. Thanks mate. In early 2008, Kevin Rudd stood before the Australian population and said global warming is the greatest moral dilemma of our time. If we fast forward to mid-2011, the global warming climate debate has descended into a mucky fight between price of carbon and carbon tax cuts. Why has such a moral dilemma, such an important issue, descended into such a mucky fight that has caused the Australian population to disengage with the argument and disengage with both political parties? It comes down to message management. What message are you putting forward and is that message the right message for your level? If we look at Rudd, when he stood up and said global warming is the greatest moral dilemma of our time, he was being visionary. He was talking about what's in the future, what's coming. Here's the big picture, this is what I stand for. Gillard and Abbott today they are lacking that vision, what they stand for. They're very much caught in the immediate cycle, the next 24 hour news cycle, and they're fighting for political points going forward, wanting to score the next point just to get ahead in the next poll. What has been the consequence of this? What we have is a major change about to be foisted upon us, but we don't have a context to accept that change within. If we don't have a context for that change, how can we adopt and accept something that really is going to hurt our hip pocket? If we go back to Rudd and Howard was the same and so was Malcolm Turnbull, when they spoke, they had a vision. They could see what was coming. And when they spoke, whether we liked it or not, we saw their vision. And when we can see a leader's vision, we are able to follow it or disagree with it. What we have at the moment with Gillard and Abbott is there's no vision. Therefore, we can't follow where it is they're taking us. And if you look at the last election, neither party won. What happened is the Australian public were given the government they wanted. Neither of them. With the government we've got is being decided by a few independents. How does this apply in your organisation? If you're trying to put forward change, if you're trying to make some radical moves within your organisation, are you setting the right context for the changes? Are you looking big picture and selling the big picture message? Or are you simply talking about the small change in a small area and what it's going to mean today? Think big picture. Are you the right person to be delivering the big picture message? Or is that to come from someone further up the tree than you? Are you the right person to be talking about the nitty gritty details? Or is that something you should delegate down to the lower levels so they can talk about it in the detail that is required? If you have the right message at the right level, your audience, your team, your staff, your customers will be able to adopt your message and see where it is that you're going. And when they can see where they're going, they know what is in it for them. They know what the change is going to mean. Get the right message at the right level and your audience will buy the message from you every time. G'day Darren, it's Brad here. Um, just leaving a message to give you a little bit of follow up on um, on how we worked with that presentation we were preparing for. Um, just, just to let you know, a couple of things I noticed, I felt a lot, a lot more confident in, um, in being able to stand there without notes and without having to refer to the screen all the time, so I um, felt a lot more confident about that. Um, used a lot of the tools you mentioned as well, so that I, instead of looking at the screen or whatever, I could um, still refer back to my PowerPoint presentation and um, but still engage with the audience, keep the eyes up. So, um, so look, you know, just a thanks for that. I was really happy with the way it went and um, look forward to working with you in the future. Thanks, mate.